Hello, dear all. Today we are going to speak about creating and choosing amazing scenario. We join forces with experts to bring you a crash course in the best escape room practices. This webinar will be useful for both experienced owners and for those who are making up their minds to enter escape room business. Let's begin. Today we are going to talk about following. What is an escape room scenario? What it includes? How to choose a successful escape room scene? Puzzles and game flow of a successful scenario. Fourth, location matters. Fifth, how to avoid mistakes. And sixth, where to get your scenario. Of course, an idea the theme and the script, the puzzles and the logic, location, amount of puzzles, and puzzle placements inside the room, and of course, geographer location of the room. An escape room scenario is not just a tech description, it's a total package of a floor plan with a furniture placement and arrangement of the puzzles, minimum 15 puzzles, which includes riddles and gadgets, and approximately three to five minutes to solve each of the puzzles for the 60 minutes game. The brief description of the puzzles, of course. Also the game flow and examples of design and style of escape room based on the pictures and the videos. Also the brief immersion in the legend, what admin tells to the players. The background music for escape rooms, the sound effects, and of course the hints for the players which help with the story and immersion. Let me reiterate that all scenario components must conform to the overall theme. That is very important. When making a room, create the world, the characters, and then the story. That's based on Scott Nicholson article. One of the first challenges for future escape room owners is to select the topic that would suit their location, the idea, and what will be popular among the players. You'll need to take into account not only your local audience preferences, but the constraints and possibilities of your premises. Our goal is that you select the coolest topic and boost it with the logical puzzles made within resources you have. Objectives for each scenario. The player's opinion. It must be unpredictable. And the Scott Nicholson approach is following. Why do people play escape rooms? They want to take me to a place I have never been. Make me into something I could never be. And let me do things I could never do. Why players visit escape rooms? First, for new emotions. Second, to live through something, to experience it on yourself. And the third, to check how smart their friends, colleagues and partners are. Also, of course, to have fun, for adrenaline rush and for competition and to learn something. With this in mind, consider following when choosing a topic for your escape room. Budget. Some topics surely require more investments for decoration, special effects, lightning, sound details. However, there are always more affordable options. Take into consideration the financial resources at your disposal. Location. Space and technical capacity to accommodate this scenario. I'll tell you about it later. Audience preferences. Your escape room must have a competitive edge. It must keep up with the trends and have its uniqueness and hooks and much, much more. Even if you think that your idea is great, it must also be popular within the wider audience. The scenario must have so-called anchors to hook into the player's emotions and associations. The theme must conform to your audience taste. For example, the only type of escape room popular in Egypt is horror. The players in Egypt won't play the magic school, for instance. Competition. How many competitors do you have in your city? What themes do they have? Are they popular? 
Run a marketing research first. Existing escape room business versus starting from the scratch. The number of escape rooms you run should be influence the choice of a team as well as the number of escape rooms to be opened at the same time. It's the best to start with the most popular themes. If you have escape rooms already, don't open new ones with the same theme. Offer your players a wide selection of different topics. Puzzles and missions should cover the main theme. Everything must conform to the theme. All puzzles, clues, even the small details. For example, an example from our own experience. We had a customer who installed a pirate hut escape room in their office. It's not a great idea when you have to hunt for treasures in a conference room. Also, there is a better example of an owner who pays attention to every small detail. He even dressed himself like this. Check the photo to meet his first visitors in person when he opened his jungle room. Difficulty levels. If the players at your location have experienced escape room games, choose more difficult puzzles. And at the same time, avoid overcomplicated scenarios if you're in a developing escape room market. Did you know that you could change difficulty levels over the single game? Take, for example, an electronic memory game. You could set it to 3, 5, 7 sequence so that the difficulty level change accordingly to the game. Another example, we have a mirror puzzle where you have to fill the symbols below to get the code. You can leave the difficulty level as it is or add a clue, an eye painted next to the puzzle. Then the players will know that they have to look more carefully to locate their touch puzzle. You can use this life hack anywhere. Just make up your mind if you need to make more detailed clues and instructions for your puzzles. Walk through difficulty. The game must not be too difficult so the players are able to compete it on time. You can change the time limit. Industry standards are from 60 to 90 minutes. Feel free to adapt your scenario for both 60 and 90 minute limits. Players will be happy if they get a game that they will likely to win. Diverse puzzles. There should be different types of puzzles, cooperative, logic, searching and physically active, and much more. The main thing to have is diversity. Mix the puzzles together. Your puzzles should be all locks and keys. These are the following types of puzzles, if we consider the action sequence. First, the parallel. The sequence of solving or opening caches is irrelevant. Consecutive. Only when you complete a step, you can pass to the next step. It is the most popular format in escape rooms. The true classic. Puzzles should include one to three cooperative puzzles. One player cannot solve it alone without the help. The second, puzzles to think over. And of course, one of the most important, the wow factor puzzles. We have made a huge database to help you to create a scenario from the scratch. So please write us and we will send you this document which you can enjoy. Wendell proof. When you're about to order and create a scenario, think about making the gadget and prop parts Wendell proof, durable and hard to break. If you're ordering a turnkey room, my advice is to ask for videos and photos. First, to understand how it works in real life. What are the first things to break? Smaller puzzle parts, any movable items, and items to be touched by players during the game. Your puzzle parts must be at least able to withstand the contact with the floor in case of falling. The escape room must conform to the premises or location where it is to be installed. Make sure that there is enough space to go around. A team of players must be able to move freely between the puzzles. Isn't that obvious? 
right. There is a difference between opening an escape room in a recreation center in a tourist attraction place or somewhere in the city. The most common type of escape rooms have two to three rooms proper if it fits the scenario. The minimum number of rooms is two. The players tend to be disappointed about few rooms. Each room is a new emotion and a story. Unlock the potential of your location. Try to surprise the players. We have an example for you. Church and torture chambers. You can check it within the pictures we are uploading with this script. Here you can see the visual for the game with two rooms, a church and a torture chamber. I think it's a very good example of how you can surprise your players. Mistake number one, choosing the topic based on your own interests. If you are a fan of Aliens franchise, it doesn't guarantee that this room will be popular among the players. Your goal is to cater the wider audience. Mistake number two. The biggest mistake you can make when creating an escape room is to make a boring quest with bad logic. Remember, everything is good as long as it is not overused. Alexey Knyazev created a great recommendations about creating escape room in his book. And here is a list of the most popular puzzles. We uploaded the link. Mistake number three. Executive use of locks, codes, keys. And it is important that you use other game elements in order to keep the game exciting. Use your imagination. Imagination. Perhaps players need to play a specific melody, which then electronically opens a magnetic lock, which might open a door or a cupboard. <laughs> Mistake number four, outdated puzzles. For example, you have flight that are no more longer trendy. It would be much more interesting to write a message on a mirror with a glycerol. Mistake number five, incorrect lightning. All times it makes sense to have a very low lightning in a game. For example, in Vampire Crypt, in a Pharaoh Pyramid, or even in Maniac's room. But keeping the room in the darkness just to make the players' conditions more difficult might irritate the players. Mistake number six, formulas and world puzzles. As with excessive use of locks and keys, scenarios that use too many mathematical and the world puzzles might quickly drain your players. Mistake number seven, physically restrictive puzzles. Expect your team to consist of players with a different height, weight, build and capabilities. Yes, hiding a puzzle under the table is certainly fun because your players will have to make an effort to find it. But imagine if a group comes with a pregnant visitor who might be extremely uncomfortable with this situation. First, write it yourself. Pros. It's cheaper, you can enjoy the flow and make any changes you like. Cons. It will take a lot of time and maybe you won't be able to bring every idea to life. You're limited with your imagination. Second option. To buy a new or existing scenario or even a franchise. Pros. You're buying a time-tested product with a predictable budget, time-consuming and use cases. Cons you may not be unique and it may cost a lot. If you're buying scenario, feel free to use a third-party opinion and deploy critical thinking as we recommend in this webinar. Thank you for watching. Stay with us in Destiny. I'm Pranke. Hello. I understand. If we consider the large store, what are you doing? No, you should slap me then. Oh my! Physical activity. What?
выше, выше, в другую сторону. Еще, 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 еще. Вот, вот, вот. Ниже чуть-чуть. Вот так. Escape room experience.